had a question on how to use the schematic to troubleshoot the injector issue. And so I'm going to go over it real quick here. Uh, what we have up on top here, surrounded by the dashed lines, is the fuse block, or the, the, the fuse, fuse box, as, as uh, most people call it. Uh, we have a fuse in the fuse box that powers the injector coils, as well as the ignition coils. Um, we, where it leaves the box, it comes out on connector 5, uh, then goes into connector 108. There's a splice. This one splice 119 on this power rail. Splice 112 over here. It goes into connector 106, and then we have a splice inside the harness where it splits off to feed all of the even side injectors, injector 2, 4, and 6. On the opposite side of the injectors, then, we have another connector, connector 106, and then finally connector 1, which is on the engine control module where each of the individual injectors is controlled by grounding inside the ECM. Now, connector 106 is this connector up here which feeds all the injectors. There's eight wires because we have the two power wires right here and here, the pink and the black and pink and the black for, for both sides. And then the rest of the wires is each of the individual injector uh, wires feeding back to the ECM. Now I put the engine back together because I know the injector is good, uh, sw swapped injectors even, and it is always the number two cylinder that doesn't fire. I also took apart the loom. You can see the, the loom down here where it goes under the intake manifold to inspect it to make sure that there wasn't any cracked wires, damaged wires, and ohmed it out from the connector back over to the injector plugs. And then since this Split loom was pretty dried out, put a new split loom on it uh, and retaped it so everything stays nice and protected. So I know that everything is good from connector 106 over to the injectors. And so that leaves us essentially with connector 106. It comes down, loops around, and then comes into the bottom connector on the ECU down here. And then, uh, of course, the power, power feed from the, the fuse box over to it. Now since we know that injectors 4 and 6 are firing, we know we have power up to the splice at least, and since I checked um, connector 106 to all of the injectors, I know we're good from this splice through the injector and back to connector 106 down here. So what we want to test is that the wires from here to the ECU are good, and in that test, we'll also re-verify that our feed from the fuse block all the way through injector one back to the ECU is good. So the way we do that is, is we test for uh, continuity and resistance from this fuse all the way down to where it plugs into the ECU. Now the ECU pins are pretty small, uh, so you don't want to jam something too big in there or you'll damage them. So uh, I'm just using a spare resistor. They got nice small leads, you can pop it in the plug, it won't bend the pins any, and you can measure the resistance from there. Now the individual injectors are 11.9 ohms uh, when you measure the injector itself. So going for a resistance measurement from the uh, fuse down to the resistor, we would expect to be basically 12 ohms of resistance, or slightly different because we might have uh, a little extra resistance due to um, the length of the wires and whatnot. And so in doing this test, we end up with measuring just over 11.9 uh, ohms, which is what the injector is. It's, it's basically 12.1 ohms. So the 0.2 ohms of resistance is pretty negligible for resistance in the connector that's added. Uh, plus you get the uh, connector on the injector. And then you also have the connectors from the fuse box, leaving the fuse box. So you have a little bit of additive resistance through all of them. Now, unfortunately, since we measure the correct resistance from the fuse box all the way down through the wire harness, through the injector, um, and then down to the connector on the ECU. That means our wiring and our injector are good, and so the issue with the injector not firing is in the ECU itself, uh, where you essentially would have a transistor inside the, the ECM, uh, which is basically a small electronic switch that turns on and off, um, that uh, has apparently given up the ghost and uh, not, not uh, closing anymore and grounding out the injector. Uh, Fortunately, it failed to open instead of closed, otherwise you'd be flooding the engine out. But uh, it's unfortunate, nonetheless, that uh, the ECM is going to have to get remanufactured or replaced to uh, fix the, uh, the broken transistor or uh, uh, MOSFET, whatever they're using in there.
So that is how we diagnose uh, the entire injection system to make sure that the uh, the harness is good. And, and uh, we use this. This is the connector diagram for uh, down here. And so you use that just so you know which of the numerous pins we have to uh, probe to uh, measure the injector. And so that's a quick down and dirty how to use the uh, um, schematic uh, to test harness connectors and wire trace to eliminate uh, any issues uh, in the harness.